All right, folks, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new VGC video game confirmation. <laughs> so now that Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is finished, now I can actually announce what game we're going to be doing next. And I think it's time to take a little trip back to this channel's first ever completed playthrough. <laughs> nah, that is XCOM 2 Season 2. So, Season 2 is going to be quite different from Season 1 for one specific reason, and that is it's going to be modded. So, um, I've constructed a mod list. Uh, I've got the collection all sorted, so if you're interested, the link will be in the description to have a look. But, I'm going to be explaining the different mods I'll be using with uh, screenshots and explaining why I'm using them and what's the general theme of the campaign. Now, before we talk about the mod list, I will mention this in the first part of the second season, once it kicks up. Um, three things I'm doing. First of all, I'm going to be using two pieces of DLC. Um, just the cosmetic ones. That is Alien... No, no, no. Anarchy's Children, excuse me. And the Resistance Warrior Pack. Now, the reason why is because of the third reason. And that is... Instead of using the standard generated characters like I used in Season 1, this time I'll be using the developer's characters. Now to use these, you have to go into your character pool, you go into import, you click on develop, I think it's like dev characters or something like that, and basically it imports at least over 100 characters, where each character is unique and different. But to use the vast majority of the characters, you need to have the Anarchy's Children DLC. So, I thought, you know what? Might as well, right? So, it's just something a little different. Some unique names. Um, I did originally want to use some of the high-profile characters from Season 1. Some names like Hellfire, um, Judge, Shogun, or Ani and uh, Tanaka, but unfortunately uh, I did have to restart my PC um, a couple of months ago due to a little uh, driver glitch with the audio, with the audio, uh, the Realtek audio console, whatever it bloody is, so I unfortunately lost that character pool, so that's fine, we could do something different. So anyway, now to get onto the mods. So the first mod, so there's about 28, 29 mods I'm using, so a very small collection, but very centric with each other. So the first one we're using is the ammo as weapon mods. Now this is pretty good because what you can do is any ammo that you build, you can use it as an attachment. So one of the things that I was kind of lacking was um, upgrade slots for a lot of the different weapons and I thought with this mod it means each character will have kind of something to use. Um, one house rule I'm going to be using for this playthrough, this, uh, this season sorry, is I'm not going to be overusing blue screens. I'm going to limit probably one set of blue screens per character and you probably want to okay what in one squad but I'll get to that later on. So that's the first one. The second mod is the Advanced Training Regiment. Now, this sort of works with the Officer Training School in XCOM Enemy Unknown slash In Within. Um, these Officer Training perks, you buy them, and any recruits that you buy would automatically become um, high ranks. Now, there is a continent bonus called Live Fire Training. That makes any rookies in the Grilla Tancer School go from instead of rookie to squaddy, it's rookie to sergeant. But this works a lot, lot better. And I think in case we lose anyone and we need backups, this is going to be a good way to make sure everyone is up to speed. So the next perk we're using is a quality of life perk called Clean Cinematic. Now, Clean Cinematic just delays any messaging. Uh, during shooting, overwatching, just to make it more of a cleaner, sort of more better flowed gameplay, if you will. Uh, it's a must in the community and it's a really good mod overall, so that's that one. The next one we're using is kind of controversial, but we're using the Disabled Timer mods. 
uh, bot, sorry. So what this means is, on grow ops that need like a time limit to destroy a relay, there isn't one. So that means we can just kind of take our time and go for more of a slower paced, sort of methodical uh, playthrough. Uh, I know it's kind of controversial, but I want to at least, I want to use this mod at least once. And I feel like if I do it now and just get over and done with, I feel like that might be a bit better. So we'll leave it there. Um, the next mod we're using is one of two weapon mods, and that is the DMR, Sniper Rifle Option. So this is a difference, uh, it's a different kind of weapon class compared to a sniper. The only difference is, um, there is a little abstract, abstract here that I can read. Um, where is it? While they have the same ammo capacity, one less damage and a lower crit chance, emulating the marksman's rifle of the long war mod, this weapon allows the user to steady their aim instead of moving for additional accuracy. So basically it gives users a steady weapon ability that adds, I believe it's very similar to the aim perk in the uh, gunslinger tree of the sharpshooter class and basically gives you like a, a temporary aim buff before your next shot so I think it's quite a good uh, different kind of class weapon class to use so that's pretty cool so the next per, uh, the next mod is one of three class mods or one of four I think it is the engineer class so the engineer class is more specialized in shotgun and grenadier use a shotgun and a grenade launcher or a shotgun and a rifle basically more of a, a explosive variant of the Grenadier class and it actually has some very very good trees here. To name a couple we've got combat training, uh, CKB training the breach tree which is plus 3 mobility plus 10 crit chance, uh, flak vest which is plus 3 HP, uh, ever vigilant, and the saboteur tree we've got duck and cover which is like 10% uh, 10 defense plus 10 dodge, we've got heavy ordnance, fonts and mix, salvo, pretty good, pretty good overall. So the next uh, mod we're using is the experimental item mod. Now the way this works is um, when you use the experimental ammo project or the experimental grenade project it means if you unlock that particular item they're now available to build instantly for a layer and core and some supplies. So for example the ammo, the ammo, we could build the ammo and then we can use it as a mod. So it just means like everyone will have a little something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is another quality of life mod, it's the gotcha mod. Just gives you different icons depending on where you put your cursor so you get an idea of what that soldier can do once it reaches your desired position. The next mod we're using is the grenades unlimited mod. So by default a soldier is restricted to one grenade type and a med kit or one grenade type and a utility item. With grenades unlimited, it means a soldier can equip up to two grenades. Of course, it depends on the utility slot they have, if they have the Predator armor or if they have Kevlar armor, it just depends. But other than that, really good versatile uh, mod to use. Uh, the next one after that is our one of our big ones, is the Long War Alien Pack, which adds a ton of new enemies like Muton Elites that you can see here, uh, going to the next screech, uh, the next picture. I know you can't see it, but I can describe it. They've got like uh, archons, uh, different types of chrysalis, different type of advent. Just gives you more, more new enemies. It's pretty cool. The next mod is the Long War Leader Pack. So this is pretty cool. What happens is in the GTS, you can allocate a soldier to undergo some extra training to get different types of perks that will affect the whole squad that that leader is currently leading. Also you can get other stuff like uh, temporary bonuses to aim depending if you're in the vicinity of the leader. It's a really cool mod to use. Um, the next mod we're using is the Long War SMG pack. Now this is the second weapon class mod that we're using. So the uh, just pardon me, just taking a quick drink, mouse dry. So the uh, the SMG class weapon class is uh, it has more mobility, less damage, but also has like a higher crit chance. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's a nice alternative. Anyone can use it, bar the grenadier. Uh, if you have a ranger, they can use it. I believe a specialist can use it. Psyopatist can use it. It's uh, it's pretty good, pretty good actually. I like it. The other 
mod we're using is the medkit grenade. Now the grenade sort of works as a uh, throwable healing item. Um, kind of balanced because what it is, it heals 2 HP in a blast radius and the upgrade, the nano medkit grenade only heals for 4 so it's, it's kind of balanced you know. Also to mirror the grenade unlimited mod we have the medkit unlimited mod. So it means that a person can equip up to two medkits, so if you have like a battle medic specialist with field pack, instead of having your traditional four medkits, which is a three plus one with medical protocol, they will potentially have seven. So that's a lot of healing and can make the difference. Uh, another big mod we're using is the more, ma more maps pack, um, just basically different maps they can use in city locations. It's um, yeah, it's really really nice actually. Some different maps for a change. Uh, another one we're using is the numeric health display. So instead of having little bips and bobs, um, it just has straight up numbers. If you look to the right, you'll have the where it says Advent Shield Bearer. In the blue, that's the health. The yellow is the armor, and the orange is ablative or shields. Maybe. Our next mod is a second class mod, which is the officer class. Now, the officer class is a pistol class, but has a quote unquote gunslinger tree and a support tree. Uh, not bad overall. I'm kind of thinking of making these officers the. Um, anyone who becomes an officer, I might actually put them in the. make them a leader, you know, undergo the leader training. So I think something like that would be <laughs> kind of cool, you know. Uh, to help that, we've got a mandatory mod, which is officer equipment, that just lets them have their equipment, pretty safe. Um, the other mod we've got is Overwatch All, All Others, just basically like the vanilla version of Smart Overwatch, that just by a click of a button, you can put all your soldiers on Overwatch, so yeah, that's that at least. Uh, moving on, we've got Patrol Training. This is kind of similar to the Advanced Training Regiment. Uh, but instead, it's a one-to-one -one training. Um, basically, at the end of the training, there's a chance that the person who's doing the training can go up a complete rank. So again, it's just base maintenance. It's sort of soldier maintenance. You know, keeping everyone up to level. Another quality of life mod we're using is the perfect information which just gives you uh, general extra information on your enemy, shot chance, kind of stuff like that, pretty easy. Uh, we got Psy Rookies mod, which allows us to have Psy Operatives from the get-go. In the last season, I didn't use, or I never got to use a Psy Operative, so I thought having Psy Operatives from the beginning would be extremely, extremely useful and just give them a bit of a, a, bit of a spotlight. Another mod we're using is the psionic grenade mod. So yeah, this is a psionic grenade, so something a bit different. Uh, to give you a quick rundown, it's imbued with psionic energy for all troopers to use, deals psionic damage, ignores armor rating, does not destroy cover, and is blocked by cover like the AP grenade from Long War, inflicts a new status effect called psychosis. Psychosis is a powerful mental condition that lowers will, aim, mobility, and restricts various abilities from being cast. A uh, cyanic bomb has more damage, radius, and more potential psychosis. Obtainable by completing experimental grenades, which will work well with the experimental item unlock. And upgrade to cyanic bomb when advanced grenades is completed. So that's another cool item that we can play around with. The final class mod we're using is the rogue class mod, which uses the SMG. Um, Basically, a either full stealth class or a lone wolf solo operator class. So you can keep them on the flank can deal some really good damage. And also, it, it comes to first ever class mod, so I don't see why not. Another mainstay mod that I might be using for every single season I do in vanilla is the squad cohesion mod. Now, what's cool about this is, um, with every squad member that works together they get uh, additions to their stats like a little bit of will, a little bit of aim so it's sort of like rapport with your your work colleagues to some degree and the other big thing is you can create squads meaning that you can use squads and you can use as many squads as you want you can rotate people around and one of the things I didn't use 
to do in the last session was use as many people as possible. So instead of the game choosing the soldiers for me, I can put people into squads and I can sort of rotate or use a random number generator to uh, basically just see who survives and who doesn't. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. And finally, the last proper mod I'm using is the True Ambush mod, which is pretty cool because when you go from when you're in um, concealment, if you activate this mod, it allows you to queue up your actions. So you can throw a smoke grenade here, flashbang there, use this ability on this person, and as soon as you break concealment, all the actions that were stacked just go off at once. And I think it's a proper cool mod instead of using the old overwatch everyone else and throw a grenade or so, so uh, that's pretty cool. So the whole theme of this season in terms of the mods is versatility, um, yeah it's basically versatility, just make sure everyone is as well stocked as possible, have different kinds of ways of dealing with the enemies, and just generally dealing as much damage as possible at the same time keeping everyone at their fullest potential. So uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the mod list, uh, again the collection will be down in the description. So go check it out. If you have any mods you want added or suggested to be added, let me know. Uh, but as soon as the videos come up, I will not be taking any suggestions. That's the mod list and that's what we're using. Um, yeah, just let me know your general opinion. And yeah, that's about it. So um, if you came across the VGC or this video and you're excited for SCOM 2 Season 2, make sure you leave a like. Drop a comment about your suggestions or your just general opinion about the mod list. And uh, make sure you subscribe because as soon as the, se the season starts, it's going to be a good one, I can tell. So, thank you very much for watching and take care and I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.